Hey, what's up guys, this is Larry B. I wanted to do a video basically showing what I do when I install a fresh driver for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, this video is probably going to be more or less helpful for people fairly new to PC gaming. Though you really never know, it could be something in here that may, you may find useful. If you know someone who's new to PC gaming, then you know send them the way of this video and uh, hopefully it will help some people. Uh, let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to want to actually open up NVIDIA control panel. To start off, the first thing you want to do is go to adjust image settings with preview. Okay, at default, it's going to say let the 3D application decide. You're going to want to change this to use the Vance 3D image settings. The reason for this is if you come down to manage 3D settings here and you make any changes in here, in order for those changes to actually take effect, you need to choose use the advanced 3D image settings. Next, what I usually do is I'll move down to uh, configure these round and phys X. By default, the phys X setting here says auto select. Now in theory, it should be fine. It should automatically select your graphics card and everything should work well. Things don't always work out as they should. Uh, what I do is I come to phys X settings here and I manually select my graphics card. So the next thing I do after the phys X is I come over to change resolution. What I do is I come over to my monitor. By default, it's gonna say use default color settings. I come down here and I select use NVIDIA color settings and then I come over to dynamic range and I go from limited to full range. What this does is by default, it's over HDMI, NVIDIA graphics drivers sets RGB output to limited. Um, what this will do is basically cause your, your monitor that's hooked up over HDMI to look really washed out. Uh, so by changing it from limited to full range, you're going to fill in the colors and your monitor will look much better. If you're hooked up over a TV, then you want to leave it on limited. Most TVs only do limited RGB, uh, where most monitors are full range. All right, so after I've got that set up, the next thing I'll do is I'll come down to G-Sync here. Um, now this depends if you don't have a G-Sync monitor, this isn't important. I make sure that G-Sync is enabled and it should be. Um, at default, it says enable G-Sync for full screen mode. Um, that means that only games ran in full screen will support G-Sync. Uh, what I do is I personally, I come down here and I change the option to uh, enable for windowed and full screen G-Sync. I personally suggest you keep an eye on this one. Uh, if for some reason a game's giving you problems or other things are giving you problems, maybe switch back to full screen mode. All right, so after that, uh, what I do is I come down here to set up multiple displays. Now, if you only have a single display, you can of course skip this part. For me, I have multiple screens, so I do this. And what I do is I make sure that, you know, everything's enabled here. I make sure my, my monitor is aligned up correctly. If you see down here, you can kind of take these and move them around. All right, so the last setting I like to come in here and change is uh, under video. Come down to adjust video color settings. By default, when you open up this tab, you'll have uh, how do you make color adjustments. Uh, the default will be with the video player settings. What I do is I come down and I change that to with the NVIDIA settings. Then I come down and select advanced and I change the dynamic range from limited to full. And this is going to be the same as the setting with the resolution except for this should control video. It should just end up giving you deeper colors, a less washed out appearance if you're on a monitor. And the same as with uh, the other setting, if you're on a TV then you probably should leave it to limited. All right, so those were the main things that I change in the video control panel when I install a fresh graphics driver. Uh, there's a couple other things I'd like to go over, though I don't really consider these to be really that important. Firstly, we'll go to uh, manage 3D settings, okay, and under global settings here. We'll scroll all the way down. Okay, well, let me explain real quick what the difference is. Uh, global settings will apply to everything. Program settings will apply to a specific program. Under global settings, I'll come down to uh, texture filter in here. Let's see where are we at? Texture filter, filtering. Okay, the default is going to be high quality. Okay, that means there'll be some texture filtering. Uh, I usually change that to quality for some reason I hadn't done it here. Um, what that will do is remove all texture filtering. I personally haven't noticed 
much of a difference in performance going from high quality to quality. Uh, your mileage may vary. You may want to play around with this. Um, I'm going to leave it alone for now because like I said, I don't want to make changes while recording. The next thing I usually do is I come down to change resolution and I'll come down to change resolution and I'll set up any custom resolutions. Um, I'm running a 3440 by 1440p monitor. Right now I'm running at normal 1440p for recording purposes. Uh, but I like to set up a custom resolution at 2560 by 1080 uh, just to have that option available. Um, so, you know, I'll set up that. So if there's any uh, custom resolutions you want set up to be an option when you're playing a game, uh, you can set it up here. After that's out of the, out of the way, I'll come down to adjust desk size and position and I'll usually change the scaling. Uh, right now I'm allowing scaling for aspect. Uh, generally I'll come and I'll allow, I'll set it to no scaling and then override the scaling mode set by games and programs. Um, this will make it so that if I do display say a 2560 by 1080 p uh, resolution instead of it being scaled across you know stretched across the screen it will be displayed just on a smaller uh, size but a true one-to-one -one pixel ratio which looks a lot better all right guys so that's really all I had um, I just wanted to go over a couple uh, more or less just basic settings that I change within the NVIDIA control panel whenever I install a brush uh, NVIDIA graphics driver if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos like it i try to do stuff involving hardware reviews uh help videos and just general stuff involving computer tech and maybe you know a couple other things uh, but that guys that's all i have and thanks for watching peace